Instead of playing sports and video games, hundreds of students are spending their summer on farms and thrift stores and animal shelters. The Youth Volunteer Corps of Greater Kansas City breaking a record last year, and the organization hopes to do it again this summer. Sloan Heller is live at the J14 Organic Farm in KCK with this story. <laughs> hey, Sloan, I gotta ask you, why is it the, uh, hey, JCK? Was it Junior? What's that? J14. J14, why is it that? So the 14th one is a junior? Why is the name J14? Yeah. I just, uh, you've stumped me. Do you guys know why it's called J14? No. Curtis, we're going to have to get back to you on that. You stumped <laughs> okay. us all. Sorry. All right. I'll kill you for that. Anyway, so many reasons why this project is so powerful. We've been talking to the director all morning, and he was telling us, you know, uh, it gives all of these kids insight into the need in Kansas City, but it also shows them how they can help those people in need. And then lastly, and you're going to hear uh, more about this, uh, you can read it on our website, uh, it kind of helps shatter some stereotypes that people might have about kids, especially what they do with their summer. Uh, you can see these kids are hard at work. Uh, all of these kids are between the ages of 11 and 18 years old. You can see they're weeding out here. A lot of the food from this organic farm is actually going to go to food pantries, obviously, to help those in need. Um, but they can, you know, they can work at thrift stores. They can work at animal shelters. There's all kinds of projects. And I'm joined now by Julia Maddock, right, 11 years old. Tell us how this is your first day of the program. Tell us what you think What you think so far. Um, it's really fun, and you get to meet new people. And we were kind of making a game, kind of picking the garlic and stuff, and so it's kind of fun. And you're doing it for the whole summer? Yeah, we're doing, I'm doing five weeks of it, so it's going to be fun. Good for you, Julia. And Christina Barton, you've done this. This is your third year, and you were telling me such an amazing story about um, working at the Kansas City Community Kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, what was so powerful and almost kind of difficult, I think, for you to be a part of that program? Well, they were, they were so grateful for us to come, and I realized that this might be the only meal that they had every day when I was just having fun cooking it and serving it, and I didn't realize how important it was to them. Well, this, tell them. So. this is an amazing job that you guys are all doing so young, 11 years old, spending your summer out here gardening, incredible stuff you guys are doing. And again, um, you know, they're really hoping to kind of add more team leaders, but of course they need money to do that. So they're asking for anyone who wants to help at all donation-wise. We've got the information on our website. Of course, that's NBCActionNews.com. The summer session, by the way, is closed. Unfortunately, they're not accepting any more volunteers. But if you want to get involved during the school year, again, we've got that information on our website, NBCActionNews.com. And Curtis, I will find out. Does anyone know why it's called J14? Nobody knows. I, I found out we'll four years. It out. Yeah, I, Sloan, I found out oh, four Oh, whatever. It, it is 14 uh -huh. organic must-haves. <laughs> 14 organic must-haves. Yes. Well, we know garlic is one of them, uh -huh. so there you go.